Super Bowl MVP, MVP, we heard those chants. Patrick Mahomes, after leading Kansas City to a thrilling victory over the Eagles, he went to Disneyland. And who was there waiting for him? Will Reeve. I was there, couldn't have missed it. Who doesn't want to go to Disneyland? Good morning, Robin, good morning all. Millions of kids running around the backyard have pretended to be the Super Bowl winning QB and getting to say those magic words, I'm going to Disneyland. Patrick Mahomes played out those same fantasies growing up only his reality exceeds anybody's dream. For the second time in four Super Bowls, Mahomes got to go to Disney, and I got to join him. And the Kansas City Chiefs have won Super Bowl 57. It was a comeback triumph straight out of a Disney movie. MVP quarterback Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City. After the final whistle blew and the last of the confetti fell, now two-time Super Bowl champ and MVP Patrick Mahomes was already planning his next move. I'm going to Disneyland. The day after Mahomes won the big game, he got his hero's welcome. I caught up with him at the happiest place on earth. How does winning the second Super Bowl compare to the first? I, I appreciate it so much more, man. Uh, whenever you deal with failure and losing uh, the AFC Championship game and losing the Super Bowl, um, you don't understand how much you appreciate winning that next one. And uh, to win it now with a brand new team, I uh, couldn't be more thankful. In front of Sleeping Beauty Castle, Mahomes reflected on his fairy tale comeback. What does it take to lead your team down 10, down double digits again in the Super Bowl to come back and win? It's all about taking one play at a time. That's all you can control. Um, and that, that was what we did. We talked about it in the locker room. And Mahomes is slow getting up. Oh, boy. How hurt were you in the second quarter? I didn't feel good. Um, I definitely re kind of re-aggravated that ankle injury, but I wasn't going to come out of the game. At the end of the day, you have to go out there and leave everything on the football field, and I tried to do that, and I was able to go out there and get enough to get a win. That win, a 38-35 classic over the Philadelphia Eagles, came down to a field goal in the waning seconds. Got it! That's like the most nervous feeling of all time. I mean, we have a great kicker, but in, in those moments, you just never know, and... Um, we were able to set him up pretty well, and he, he knocked it through Harrison Bucker, and uh, then, then you're just you're holding on for those eight seconds until the game's over, and then after that, it's just celebration. If you didn't play football ever again, how would you want to be remembered? I want to be remembered by the way I play the game and the type of man I am off the field as well. So uh, all that other stuff is amazing, and you love having those rings and those, those trophies, but at the end of the day, it's about the man you are when you step in that building. Did you know you would be this good? No, not at all. I've come a long way. As Mahomes dominates the league in what's been an unprecedented start to an NFL career, visiting a Disney park after the Super Bowl is becoming routine for him. Here he is with me at Walt Disney World after his first win three years ago. You're standing up there on the float next to Mickey Mouse, tons of people around cheering for you. What goes through your mind in that moment? Yeah, I mean, just to try to take it all in, embrace it. I mean, this is a once in a lifetime type of thing. Turns out if you're Patrick Mahomes and are on pace to end up as the greatest ever, it's not once in a lifetime. But a lot has changed in the quarterback's life since then. You've got two little kids now. Yeah. What's it like being a dad? Describe yourself as a father. Yeah, it gives you a different perspective. Um, you, you enjoy every day so much more because you know how fast they grow up. And now having bronze and then Sterling, the years fly by, and I just try to do whatever I can to enjoy the little moments. Next year, Super Bowl, Las Vegas, February 11th. Where are you going to be February 12th? Oh, I'm trying to be in uh, one of these Disney parks. So I'm going to try to try to do whatever I can to work my tail off to win another Super Bowl, and then we'll meet again. I hope so. Ten years ago, before he was in the NFL, Mahomes tweeted about how cool it would be to be the quarterback who got to say they were going to a Disney park after winning the Super Bowl. Now he's done it twice. Some might call that visualization or manifestation, or perhaps when you're Patrick Mahomes, you know fairy tales are real. <laughs> yes. He makes them come true. Absolutely. Okay, you're two for two with him at Disneyland. I will go for three for three. I'll go wherever. It doesn't matter who wins. I'll go to Disney after the uh, Super Bowl. How was it? It was, how was, a, it was fun? an honor and a privilege and exhausting in the best way. Did okay. you get any rides in? Uh, no, I didn't get any rides in, but I did get to see the football game the day before. <laughs> <laughs> that was exhilarating enough. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.